Thank you for joining us for our Cash or Trash episode. As always, we're going to say fair warning and disclosure that this may anger a lot of people out there or maybe a few people, whether you're a factory, manufacturer, an owner of any of these products. We're going to give you fair warning. Your discretion is advised. There may be some trash talk about some of this stuff here or good stuff. You never know. But uh, please make sure that you're aware of that. Thank you for joining us for our Cash or Trash episode again today. We are covering John Fluvog, as you can see. They've got some very crazy colors and bright stuff going on, but they also have sometimes something a little more basic and, you know, something you can wear a little more casually, nothing too crazy. But let's break it down and see what these boots are all about as far as whether they're cash or trash. Let's start out with material quality. Material quality is fairly good actually. I'll give them a 7.5. Um, they don't really seem to cut corners too much on materials. Obviously sometimes you can't really have high quality materials when you're using fabrics and stuff like that but their leathers are great as far as like the fabrics go. They do seem to be fairly good considering it's after all a fabric or a nylon or a cotton whatever it may be depending on which model it is because I've seen Fluvogs with all sorts of stuff on them and everything. Uh, build quality, I will give them a seven. Um, even though that majority of their boots and stuff are glued and stuff, not stitched or anything, they're not good or welted, but I'll still give them a seven considering the fact that they are well constructed with that kind of design. I mean, I've, I've seen shoes that are two, three times as much as what these are worth cost-wise each individually uh, that have the same construction and they're much worse quality build wise versus what Fluvog is offering. Surprisingly, I was, you know, for that price point, I was like, man, that's that's pretty good. We'll get to that price in a minute though. Uh, comfort. Comfort is going to be debatable. It's personal preference. I will give it a five though, because sometimes there's no way you're going to fit your toe into something like that. Uh, maybe something a little more rounded might be more comfortable for you. So I'll just evenly split it down the middle at five. Support, same thing, five as well, just because they're not a comfort line as well. So there's not too much support. There are removable insoles on most of the models that I've seen, but uh, some models aren't removable and everything so i'll give them that five collectability i will give them a nine i won't say a 10 or anything because obviously this is very collectible they've got like limited releases and stuff like that so there's a collectability to it however on a secondary market it's much smaller of a secondary market than some brands out there too um in certain communities as well so i'm going to drop it down by at least one point but i'll give them a nine for collectability uh show off ability you got to give them a full 10 i mean um, look look at these things i mean they're they're screaming show off ability. I mean, like that's yeah. Uh, maintenance, I will have to give them a six just because it's a little difficult to maintain some of these colors. I mean, when you got something like this where it's multi tone, multi shade, and everything, uh, then all of a sudden you switch over to this one's a completely like bright different color. Even their suede's too. I mean, this is just a regular black, but it's a suede. Suede for some people is a little more difficult to take care of. Where the back, it's more of a box type leather is what it's called on um, that and then you've got this one that's also a different color so maintenance is gonna i'm gonna give it a six but any professional should be able to take care of it because professionals we tend to have a lot of stuff at our disposal a lot of colors all already open and available if you're trying to do it yourself for self maintenance and everything you're gonna have to have a lot of products and you have to have product dedicated for each individual individual shoe and that could be just one product or it could be all the way up to five or six because you'll need different colors different shades again for this shoe here you're gonna need at least two different acrylic paints for you might need a little bit of a dye you're gonna need a conditioner so you could easily start getting up into like 40 50 dollars worth of just product alone onto just one pair of boots so that's why i'll give it a six recraftability i'll give an eight um because we can't give them a full nine or ten because certain models that might get a little tricky like this one here we can't get a sole that's original like this obviously um we can do something comparable but some of them are designed in such a way where it's a little hard to work on so it might cost a little more than we would typically expect it to with a build that looks identical but it's not quite the same but i'll give them an a on that may or sorry price point now we're at the price price surprisingly is a i'll give it a medium because i'll mid medium price point just because it's 
It's not very high, surprisingly. I mean, expectation with shoes like this that are kind of out there crazy, you might be thinking of like seven, eight hundred dollars, maybe even to the thousand range. But no, they're they're in the three, four, five hundred dollar range. Surprisingly, I mean, I was like, wow, that I never actually looked at the price. I'll be honest, I've never checked out the price until this. So at the end of the day, are these cash or trash? I mean, for me, I wouldn't wear these. Obviously, I wouldn't wear these. I would probably wear these and I'd probably wear these, but I will definitely have to give these a full blown cash because that is definitely a great value, great price for something that's this crazy looking. Because if you're also in the performing industry of any kind or you've got an event or something, at those price points, you can have a pair of boots that look like this to match whatever outfit you're wearing and they're not going to cost you an arm and a leg basically and i've seen some performance shoes that cost just as much as these guys do and they're made out of nothing but synthetic materials and they're made like trash completely so if you're a performer of any kind whether you're in music performing arts whatever it may be check out some of the crazy stuff fluvog has i'll leave a link in the description for their site um, there might be a link actually that doesn't say fluvog or something it may be even a referral link so if you want to buy some fluvogs i ask that please use that link because it gives us a little bit of a kickback doesn't cost you anything extra but it helps our channel grow and give more reviews on different shoes especially when we're doing cash or trash episodes like we did right now thank you for watching make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell icon to be notified when the next video is out we'll see you next time